All right, um, in the second step, since we've already got the shirts and the straps cut out, what we're going to pay attention to now is wrinkling and knowing where to put them and how to fade them, etc. Stop shot. So, what you need to do is go to shirt layer, go to create new layer, and let's name this wrinkles. And you want that to be transparent. And make sure wrinkles is directly above the shirt layer. Okay, there's a few ways you can do this as well. Um, I'm going to show you one way. This is just how I do it, so there's probably better and easier ways to do it. But I'll show you how I do it first. Um, go to your paintbrush tool, select black, and don't want this scale size, but however big you want your wrinkles. And I'm going to use 77 right now because it seems to look fine there for some reason. Okay. There we go. Right there, and on the back, where you think they would fall. Then, once you have the black done, go to your colors, select white, and just trace over the top of that black line you just made, over all of them. They don't have to be perfect because they're going to blend in and look nice afterwards. you have the white covered, you're going to want to make sure you're still on your wrinkles layer. Go to mode and go down to overlay. And it's just going to blend in with your background color or your shirt color. Then go to the smudge tool. Go down about 30% and then you want the scale to be quite big. About a sixth right now. I just kind of smudge it along. Then it starts taking the form of a wrinkle. And do the same to the other sides. And what you can do so you can see it better when you're smudging it is to get, get rid of all these other layers other than the UV and the subdividing easier to keep those on there. You can go back to your wrinkles and then you can see it taking form a little bit more. You can also use the um, blur tool for doing this, but when you hand do it, you can kind of put the wrinkles wherever you want to, um, make them flow wherever you want to. So. And it gives it more definition. Okay. Once you got those blurred out, if you still think they're a little too strong for what you're looking for, um, you can go to the opacity and go down. And it kind of takes away just a little bit. You'll have little slight wrinkles or some wrinkles. So. But what I'm doing, I like mine the way they are. So I'm going to keep them at 100%. Actually. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is add just a little bit of simple shading to this. Um, go back or go to your airbrush tool, go and create a new layer, let's name this shading, and you want that transparent, make sure that's directly above your wrinkles layer. So airbrush tool, go to black, it's kind of the same thing we're going to do as we've done with the wrinkles. 
and I would turn on the sub value UV. You're going to want to put it like right under the breast area. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to fill in when you blur it. Um, black, and then you can put some down and contour the body. I don't think that's going to match. There we go. And then go and select white again. And just put it right over the top. Like this. Okay. And now you can use blur for the filters. Draw some blur. I'm going to go to about 10 just to give you some help. Also, make sure the mode of your layer is overlay as well. And then go back to your smudge tool and just kind of blend it all in. And if you take all the other layers down, you can see exactly what you're doing with it. It may look a little weird right now, but once you get it blended properly, it starts to look like actual shading and contours the body better. And just looking you clean it on. It may take you a while to get used to how all these different tools work and the best way for you. So just work at it. You'll eventually get it down. Once you have just a basic shading, um, there's a few other things you can do. You can add a, uh, a seam, which I'll put up another tutorial for seams. So I don't think I'll have enough time to get there right now. But this is just a basic tank top made from Gimp. Um, stay tuned, I will be making a lot more videos for beginners. So that's it.